Hey everybody, it's your boy Shannon Lanier here with your hashtag cut up COVID challenge update. So I am in the last final days of my cut up COVID challenge and let me tell you, it has been an amazing journey. I don't know all the specifics of how much I lost and how much weight I've put off and how much muscle I've gained and all that stuff. But I will tell you a little bit about my process. So it was a, an amazing journey to try to get in shape with uh, Ian and Jermaine over at the body shop. And then I had Belicia over at B-Fit Foods helping me eat the right things. And it's been a journey because I, I knew I could do it. I knew I could get there, but it was ex it was exciting to see the changes in my body and the cuts starting to happen, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but uh, it was it was pretty cool, and I think, you know, I just wanted to be able to encourage a lot of other people to be able to do this, to get in shape. We're going to be revealing the results this coming Wednesday, so I'm looking forward to that the, right after my birthday, which is June 29th on Monday. So make sure you check out the, the big reveal to see the before and after of what I looked like on the Defender Network. Make sure you keep a, a lock on their Instagram to check that out. Out. But the, uh, I did a lot of workouts. I was working out like six days a week, sometimes seven days a week. I was mainly doing a lot of strength training, um, one muscle. I know a lot of people focus on several different muscles or what have you, but I was mainly doing one muscle a day for about an hour in my workout routines. And then if I could, I would do like a half an hour worth of cardio after that or before that. Um, or even I would switch it up and do it later in the day, do some cardio with that. I always try to get at least a half an hour of cardio in. And then with my food, if you were watching any of my food stories, I was eating um, you know, my macros. I had to learn all about that macro life and everything that um, was included in doing the macros and eating right. And yeah, that was fun because I always wanted to eat less. And so my trainer was like, you got to eat more. I was like, what do you mean eat more? Because I had to get enough protein, enough carbs and enough uh protein carbs and the fat that's the other one protein carbs and fat the three things you need so in those macros i had to make sure i ate all those things and i apparently wasn't eating enough to sustain the muscle in my body so i had to do that i had to eat right i had to work out and i had to stay positive in my mind to be able to continue doing it because let me tell you you get sometimes you just like i'm so tired this week especially i was in like my final week i just got so tired i was like i don't want to work out i don't want to do anything but go to sleep job was stressful um working out was stressful i didn't want to do anything and i was just so exhausted i was tired because i'm uh in this peak week which is like the last moments before you do the reveal photos and stuff like that you want to cut it up you want to trim it out you want to cut all the carbs out so at this point it was like okay i can't eat carbs anymore so now i was like okay now i'm tired i'm Stressed and all this emotions came up and so uh, I can eat carbs again now uh, now I'm trying to carb back up right before the, the the pictures so it's okay but I just encourage anybody and everybody out there if you want to get in shape if you want to get healthier if you want to get more fit for whatever your reasons are go ahead and do it start with a goal start with an end goal have a date in mind I want to reach this by this point and then do it stay focused get you an accountability partner that will help you through this journey they will do the workouts with you get a trainer maybe the body Body Shop HGX is a great place. They have trainers there that are in shape and actually know what they're doing. And I feel confident letting them train me because I feel like they've done it. They know the results I'm looking for. And I also don't want to be trained by someone that I don't want to look like. So I got to aspire to want to look like you in order for you to train me. So that's another thing that I had to go through. And then the, the B-Fit Foods, the food was so good. I was like, this can't be healthy. This is too good. But it was healthy. It was good. And it had all the macros written on top. So it was easy for me to follow the plans. A lot of people get into trouble because they're eating things and they don't know what's in their plan. They don't know what's in their food, and they're just eating everything. So that's one of the things I try to avoid. But I just thank the Defender Network. I thank the Body Shop HTX. I thank B-Fit Foods. I thank all the people who helped me along this journey uh, to just get in shape and to be my support and help me through these uh, challenging times. But it, for the most part, I actually enjoyed it. It was fun, I, especially when you start seeing the changes. You're like, oh, yeah, it's on now. I'm about to really do this. So that's what it was for me, just seeing the changes and seeing the difference really Really excited me to be able to come to the final moments for just two more days until I take these photos and show you guys what's under all these clothes you see on TV. What will I reveal? So tune in. Make sure you check me out at the Defender Network so you can see the final results on Wednesday, the July 1st. All right. See you guys later. Bye.